All right, what I have is a 2006 Yamaha R1 LE. I recently replaced the spark plug, so I'm familiar with tearing the bike down. I don't necessarily want to tear the bike down if I don't have to tear the bike down. But what happened about a month ago, I came out to go on a ride and the bike wouldn't start, so I jump-started it from my truck. The bike started just fine. I went about my ride, turned it on and off several times, and for about a week or two, I came out and I'd start it every now and then, and it would start. So I let it fit, sit for two weeks, and I came back out here and tried to start it again after letting it sit for two weeks, and it just slowly cranked and then made a clicking sound. Um, now the bike won't crank at all, and it just makes a clicking sound. I have pulled the battery, charged it. It has 12.8 volts on the charger. That is my charger there. I have reinstalled the bike, or the battery back into the bike, and it does the same thing, so I'm going to record that. I have checked the fuses in the starter solenoid both there and there. They are uh, 15 amp, and they are both intact and not broken. And so what you're going to hear is when I turn the bike on, there's going to be a very loud click buzz from the starter solenoid. So we're going to turn the bike on. As you can see, it, you can hear the fuel pump. And when I go to start, it will lose the dash and hear the click. There is no check engine light when you try and start the bike, but it appears to reset. What I'm going to do now is put the positive wire from my tester and the negative wire from my tester. I have just pulled the battery off of the charger and it was 12.8 volts. As it sits here in my bike, it's 11.9. So something is immediately putting a draw on the battery. And the bike's not even on. It's interesting as it seems to be improving.